Cooking fan always call us cooking shows. Cooking in Thailand, their dishes is what I am looking forward. <laughs> Everyone, I am Christine Juliano Piazza. You may call me CJ as everybody uh, uh, as everybody calls me. I'm 26 years old and I'm hailing from the beautiful country of the Philippines. I would say I am a very multifaceted woman. I wear different hats. I am a model, a host, a passerella coach. I am a mental health advocate. And most importantly, I am the breadwinner of the family. And so I am a mental health um, advocate, particularly for my fellow breadwinners, because I want to share their stories and my stories. And I believe that would allow me to inspire more people, young women as well, and others who are listening to me to Know that there is a power within you that you can use to be an inspiration and to be an instrument for others as well. In times you may not feel that you are not your, in, your own inspiration, but you can be an inspiration to others. So you should take that chance within you. And so I would also say that this is like a second chance for me to join Miss Grand International because back in 2022, I joined a national pageant in the Philippines and I was aiming for Miss Grand International. But I am glad that my sister Roberta was the one who won the crown during that time and represented the Philippines. And so I took the chance when um, I was able to, we were able to have another separate pageant for Miss Grand, in, Miss Grand International in the Philippines. And so I said, this is my chance, maybe. And so I tried, even though I know that I will be given just three days to prepare and be here. Yes, I know it is a challenge, but I also know deep in my heart that I was preparing for the competition for how many years already? Because I've always wanted to, perfor to perform. Um, I've been dancing a little bit um, away from being sexy and glam. I am a hip hop dancer before when I was a kid. Yes, and now I am pushing through being a passerella coach and I've always wanted to have my own studio and maybe use it also as a dance studio and train other girls as well. And also, I'm a graduate of business administration, major in human resource development management. However, I wasn't able to pursue the path of corporate jobs because I wanted to, I needed to fill in the responsibility of being the breadwinner and I feel like being in the modeling and entertainment industry would allow me to feed my family and everything that they need as well. And that is a very practical mindset of mine and so I pursued that category in life and I am able to pursue my passion and at the same time I would say it's a luxury and a privilege that is given to me. As you said, you like to inspire yes. the others. What unique qualities do you bring to this competition to inspire another people? I would say my life is definitely a roller coaster. And before, I am a bit shy of sharing my stories. But beauty pageants allows us to open up more about ourselves, become more confident and comfortable in being who we really are and what we want to share to other people. And I think that is the common denominator of any pageants. And that is to bring out someone's confidence, their true personality, and being able to bring out their own stories. And my intention in joining this competition is that first, I'd be able to perform in the grandest stage in the whole world. Secondly, of course, I'd be able to share my story more internationally. And to all my fellow breadwinners out there, I would just want to say that you are doing great. And I don't want you to lose hope in your own dreams and in your own passion that you can also make something out of it. Hopefully, you'd be in the Miss Grand International 2025 or the coming years. And you don't know, you can change someone's life because I am changing even just one life. And that for me is already a victory and being able here, I'll be able to change more lives and I'll be gaining more victory and success. Thank you. In the past, we have a little conflict about uh, Miss Grand International and Philippine fans all the time, up and down, up and down. Do you have any, any message to Philippine fans to make the situation is getting better? Can you share the message now? Well, I know the Philippines is just really maybe hungry to win the first um, golden crown, that's why. But, and we have our own perspective. But me being here 
would definitely, I would use this very opportunity to tell you all that Miss Grand International is very much different from how you are trying to perceive it. Because I would say, uh, it's, I would definitely say that Miss Grand International, all the people working, the board of directors, everyone behind the staff, and everyone, we are working with the girls and everyone, the media people, they are very much professional. They're very much creative and they put so much heart. They put so much hard work in everything that they do and they just want to bring out the best pageant in the country and they just want to produce a girl who would represent and be an ambassador of Miss Grand International and that is very that is for the very essence of bringing out the beauty of Miss Grand International how we are as a women our power, unleashing it to our fullest potential. And that is the very job of Miss Grand International. And they are doing it every single day, I would say. Really, um, I'm having so much fun here. There is no such... Um, yeah, I, I, I do not see it in a way how others are trying to perceive it. That's why I am making use of this time to tell you all to cleanse your minds and change your mindset that Miss Grand International is truly a competition that you should be in. Okay, for... Yes, I okay. cook. I cook all, a lot. All Philippine fans always call us cooking show. Cooking show. <laughs> what, what do you feeling? You are cooking too. I yeah, you are hoping you like time. cooking and they call me cooking show. No. How you... How you how are you feeling and what do you want to say? Well, again, I would say to all the Filipino fans, cooking in Thailand, their dishes, is what I am looking forward <laughs> <laughs> And I love their dishes. That I, I hope we just, you know, um, focus more on the definition of what is cooking because we are just cooking the most perfect girl here for the, for the grand crown. I agree. No one eat the lamb. Oh, we must cooking. Okay. <laughs>